Hey guys, good morning. Anthony here, Bibles and Barbells. And um, this morning I wanted to start off with a devotional um, that I put together. But it actually, I'm going to give everybody some homework to do and some feedback to give to me uh, for this Bible study lesson. It focuses on the Beatitudes, which you could find in the book of Matthew, um, beginning in chapter 5, verses 1 through 12. It's also... Uh, the Beatitudes listed in Luke, but we're going to be reading from the book of Matthew uh, this morning. And one of the reasons I, I wanted to do this study is this time of year, especially the Thanksgiving, Christmas uh, holiday season, uh, you'll find that the world system that I talk about in a lot of my Bible studies, a lot of my um, uh, studies online, is that the world system has its way of worship, if you will. The world system continually tells us what's important, what needs to be done, and what we need to do as individuals. Um, I'm telling you in this Bible study that's entitled Counterattack. I know it sounds a little harsh, but it's entitled Counterattack. And it's a counterattack spiritually, not physically. Um, so what we have to do, and what we're going to be called to do, is to live counterculturally. To what the world says. The world's going to say one thing, the world system's going to say one thing, and we as Christians are going to say what Jesus said, the right thing. And so let's read uh, the Beatitudes, and then we'll just talk a few more, um, go over a few more things, and I will uh, give you your homework assignment. So now in the crowd, when now when he saw the crowds, he went up on the mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him, and he began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those that hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you falsely, say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. But those are Jesus' words in the beginning of what's called the Sermon on the Mount, which goes through Matthew 5, chapter 5 through 7. One of the things I wanted to speak about is you'll see in the Beatitudes the word blessed. Blessed are you. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are those who mourn. And, and so on. Being blessed is not related to our circumstances. Your house could have got washed away in Hurricane Sandy up in the northeast. But you could still have that deep inner joy that comes with being blessed by God. Being one of his children. That deep inner joy, nothing can take away from you. Nothing on this planet can take it away from you. No man can take it away from you. No world leader can take it away from you. And that has been demonstrated over the centuries as Christians stood while they were persecuted, arrested, murdered, tortured, and that continues to this day. And they're still blessed by the Lord. What's poor in spirit? The first thing it says, Jesus says, is, Blessed are the poor in spirit. What's that mean? In short, he only who is reduced to nothing and relying on God's mercy. What does that tell you? Jesus is telling us, reduce ourselves to nothing and rely on His mercy. Rely on Him to give you the power in your life that you need to live. Rely on His grace, His mercy, and His peace. Mercy is not giving you what you deserve. We rightly deserve, we rightly deserve death because we're wicked at heart. But Jesus offers his mercy to us, not giving us what we deserve. 
You'll also see that in Isaiah 61, verse 1. And remember, the Beatitudes are not directions. It's not do this, do this, do this. It's not works. The, the, the Beatitudes, what Jesus is saying here, are descriptions of those that follow him. They're descriptions that will pick you out in a crowd. That those around you that are not Christians will see something different about you because of what you are in Christ. And so my goal today was to get people to rely on Jesus and not on what the world offers. And one of the assignments I wanted to give is, if you respond with a comment, respond to something that the world system is offering right now or telling people what they need to do with regard to anything. I'll give you an example. Um, the world system tells us that um, a baby in the womb is just a clump of cells and they don't describe it as a human fetus. That's the world system telling you that. What does God tell you that? Well, God tells us he formed you and he knew you before you were even in your mother's womb. Think about it. Send me your questions and comments. And today or this weekend, read through the Beatitudes and the rest of the Sermon on the Mount. And you'll see that we need Christ in our hearts and lives 100%. It's not nothing we do, it's all His work in us. That's the works that we come out doing. We don't work to get to heaven. We accept Christ as Lord and Savior in our lives. And He gives us, He's prepared us for work, for good works of service, to show who we are in Him. So remember that today as we close. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank You for this study. We thank you for your word. Father, I pray that uh, we get many comments and uh, also questions, Father, on what the world system is telling people what they need to do. Father, I pray that more and more people today rely on Jesus Christ and his strength, his grace and his mercy, and the peace that comes through knowing him. Father, bless each individual that watches this video. Bless our great country. Bless this world, Father, that you have given us and you have created that we may give thanks to you in all circumstances, Father, and call ourselves blessed no matter what the world throws at us. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning, and God bless you, and looking forward to your comments.